Okay, this little video to help you get going on this handout that I got set to me today. But here we go. It says, circle all items that are an element. That means part of this set of numbers right here. The set is represented by X. All those numbers in there are elements. So what you're doing is looking for of those numbers down there, which are not in the, I'm sorry, which are elements. So that red, red is not in there. Negative six for sure is in that set of numbers. A is not in there. Two is in there for sure. Nine, nope. This half, nope. The letter N, nope. Negative eight, yes. And then that negative three and a half, nope. None of those other numbers are parts of that set X. They are not an element. Only negative six, two, and negative eight. All right, this one says, this set Y, the things inside there, all the elements are vowels. So hopefully I'm not an English teacher, but that's A, E, I, O, U, sometimes Y, I guess. But here we go. If those letters are not one of those vowels, then it's not an element. So C, nope. Negative one, nope. U, yes. I, yes. A, Yes, and I think this is an O right here. None of those other ones are vowels. So they are not an element of that set. All right, here we go. They give you three sets, A, B, and C, and they want to know which of these are true. So this is saying S. S is not an element of B. That's what that's showing right there. That little slash through is saying S is not part of B. That's what this is saying. So I look at set B and I look in there and I see if S is in there. S is not in there. So S is not an element of B. That one's good. If I look at the next one, 16, 16 is an element of A. That's what this is saying because there's no slash through it. And I look at A there's no 16 in that set, so I'm going to cross that one. That's not good. This one says 4 is not part of C. So if I look in C, 4 is not in there, so that one is true. This one says T is part of A. So if I look at A, there's no T in it. This one says negative 3 is an element of C, and I could clearly see negative three in that set of C. This one says eight is not part of A. So if I look at A, eight is in there, so that, that's not true. I'm not gonna circle that one. That's what that means. All right, here we go. <clears throat> this says infinite, which means they stop. Infi I'm sorry, finite means it stops. Infinite means never stops, never stops. If finite, list all the elements. So here we go. Fingers, fingers are finite. And I guess you just say, I don't know, the element are 10 fingers. Whole numbers, whole numbers are infinite because they could keep on going forever. Primary colors, I believe there are four of them. That is finite. And if I want to list the elements, I believe the colors are blue. I'm not 100% sure. Green, yellow, I'm not 100% sure on the primary colors. I could look that up for you, though. Prime numbers, prime numbers are numbers that could only be divided by itself, like one can only be divided by itself, three, five, but they keep on going, so that would be infinite. And then days of the week, I would say, and there's seven of them, I guess you could list all the days, Monday, Tuesday, I guess you could list them all. All right, here we go. It says an ellipsis. An ellipsis is just like little dots at the end to show a pattern there. So integers, integers, I could do like one, two, 
three, which are integers, and then do dot, dot, dot. That's the ellipsis right there to show me that I'm still doing integers going forever, forever. The English alphabet, same kind of thing. A, B, C, and then maybe dot, dot, dot to show that you continue with the alphabet. Even whole numbers less than 100, maybe you're talking 98, 96, 94, but dot, 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 keep going on forever. Even whole numbers less than 10. Months of the year. So January, February, March, and then dot, dot, dot as my little ellipsis. Give two original examples of a finite set. So a finite set would be, I don't know, pack of 10 socks. So that pack of socks, there's only 10 in there. That's a finite number. I would say number of classes each day. So there's a certain amount of classes each day. Here at Venturia, we have seven classes each day. All right, so I hope this helps a little bit for you to take a look at. We'll do some more practice problems or whatever kind of other problems you want to do. Good luck.